In the ancient world, there were scary monsters. People usually have some knowledge about dinosaurs, which were the big rulers of the animal world, until they disappeared about 65 million years ago. However, not many know about the new rulers that came after them, the so-called terror birds. These birds were enormous, standing as tall as 10 feet and weighing over 1,000 pounds. They were speedy and had a sharp beak, which made them apex predators. Yet, like the dinosaurs, the reign of the terror birds eventually came to an end. But what happened to these frightening birds? And how does it connect to the modern Seriyima bird we have today? Between 60 million and 2 million years ago, terror birds were the undisputed rulers of South America. They weren't into the whole flying thing, but they could run as fast as a cheetah, hitting speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. These terror birds were like no other birds you'd find today. Think about large modern birds like ostriches. Sure, they can pack a punch, but they don't sport the kind of beaks terror birds had. Terror birds could easily kill a human with this massive skull and beak. Scientists have even compared these beaks to axes. That's how intimidating they were. These terror birds made the forests their home, where they likely hid and waited to surprise small mammals. After the dinosaurs disappeared, South America became a hub for these little critters, and the terror birds were ready to pounce. These birds had some pretty beefy legs, and they were like lightning on their feet, and could easily chase down scampering critters. At the end of their legs, terror birds had sharp talons. Scientists believe they might have given their prey a quick poke with their beak, then hopped on top and went to town with their talons, sort of like a stabbing spree. Or they could have just gone for a big, bone-snapping chomp. Either way, they were quite the unique hunters. So what factors played a role in the extinction of terror birds? While many massive creatures in the Americas have gone extinct due to humans, it's not the case for terror birds. Scientists have found that the last terror bird lived about 2 million years ago. That's way too early for them to have met any humans. So, humans didn't play a part in the terror birds going extinct. But don't worry, there were still some big changes happening in the world when these birds bit the dust. When the terror birds ruled the roost in South America, that continent was basically an island. But here's where it gets interesting. According to scientists, a mix of moving tectonic plates and volcanic eruptions created a land bridge, kind of like a natural road, which we now call the Isthmus of Panama. As this land bridge was forming, it was like making stepping stones in the ocean between North and South America. And guess what? Animals that were excellent swimmers saw this as their chance for a little cross-continental adventure. They swam from one side to the other. Eventually, North and South America literally merged, and you could now take a walk from one continent to the other, like strolling from one room to another. Now this was like a massive blind date for creatures that had never met before. Think of it as a big get-together of species who'd been evolving separately. Scientists gave this epic meetup a fancy name, the Great American Biotic Interchange. Our terror birds who had been top dogs of South America for ages were the kings and queens of their jungle. But when their South American turf was suddenly joined up with North America, it was like going from being a pro in one game to playing an entirely different sport. They had to adapt to a new world they hadn't practiced for in millions of years. When animals from South America, including terror birds, ventured into North America, things didn't go too smoothly for most of them. One big reason was that North America was already packed with lots of big, hungry predators. These included enormous mammalian predators, like bears, wolves, and saber-toothed tigers. In contrast, South America had only a few meat-eating marsupials and the terror bird as the main predators. So, when South American animals found themselves up north, they were like tasty snacks, without any real defenses against these new, hungry neighbors. Even the terror birds who were kings in their South American jungle suddenly had to compete for food against some tough rivals. While terror birds were excellent at catching small prey they were adapted for, going up against the big mammals that came into South America was risky business. This struggle for grub was something they hadn't faced before, and it was the first step on their journey to becoming extinct, after thriving at the top of the food chain for millions of years. 
However, scientists state that it's quite possible there wasn't just one thing that wiped them out. A big factor could have been a major shift in their environment as well. The whole climate was transforming, and a chilly ice age was starting. Temperatures dropped a lot, and ice sheets spread. These terror birds had been the big shots of South America for millions of years, but the world they ruled was changing. Maybe they just couldn't cope with the new chilly scene they found themselves in. Although terror birds are ancient history, one of their relatives is still walking around on our planet today. The Seriyima bird is genetically connected to these prehistoric giants and stands as the last living member of the terror bird clan. That's pretty cool, and let's hope they can live for a long time. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. See you next time.